guys welcome you all to my channel is this your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so in today's tutorial we are going to making a simple video on how to cut and sew your off shoulder maxi dress with slits okay so you are going to be able to achieve your off shoulder bustier your maxi dress and also how to achieve your slits if you're interested in learning how to achieve this then stay tuned and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe in the course of this tutorial if you have any question please feel free to drop your questions in the comment section or any video you want us to make so let's go ahead now and what are the measurements required in order for you to achieve this style you have need your shoulder measurements bust waist hip and your gown length so our shoulder measurement is 18 18 divided by 2 we have 9 plus half inch for our allowance because we're going to be attaching our sleeve you have nine and half our bust is 40 40 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 1 we have 14 inches our bust is 44 44 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 13.5 inches our hip is 53 53 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 1, we have 15.25 inches. Our gown length is 60 inches. So 60 inches, that means for our desired length. And don't forget that what we want to achieve now, we have the first one, which happens to be our off-shoulder bustier. And you should know that your off-shoulder stops somewhere around your half length. So now, what is half length? Half length is basically one, or two, one to two inches above your navel. And this is just from your shoulder point to your under bust, your under bust area where you have your bustier effect before you go ahead and gather your pleats at the lower side so for this now we have 18 inches now i know you might want to ask me that how were you able to achieve 18 inches there are two ways in which you can achieve that which is your half length the first one is to go ahead and measure your clients directly on your client's body Why the second one is to make use of your distance calculation and of course i have a tutorial on that where i explained distance calculation from your bust to waist waist to hip hip to knee length i'm going to go ahead and put down the link of the description of that video in the description box so please make sure you check out that video after watching this tutorial okay so we have 18 inches for our half length so in order for you to determine how many inches you need for your pleats you are basically going to deduct your half length from your gown length okay so if our gown length is 62 and we take off our half length which is 18 we are going to have 44 inches so this 44 inches now we are going to go ahead and add two inches for our sewing allowance we have 46 inches so what this simply means is that from your waistline which happens to be your half length your desired length we have 46 inches now our half length is 18 inches you will go ahead now and add one inch for the sewing allowance you have 19 inches so the half length is 19 inches plus your allowance why the lower part is 46 inches so these are the basic measurements required another thing you also need to take no note of is how many inches will you require for you to, does it require for you to be able to achieve your pleats now if you are dealing with pleats you are basically going to multiply your waist measurements by three you are multiplying your hip measurements by three however this depends on where you want to attach your pleats to so in this style now we are attaching our pleats to our half length which happens to be somewhere around between our waistline and our hip line so we are basically going to use your hip measurements multiplied by three so in order for you to know the amount of fabric required for your pleats multiply your hip measurement by three so in case you want the fabric you are dealing with in case the fabric you are working with is not sufficient enough or paraventure you don't want your pleats to be too full you go ahead and multiply your hip measurement by so guys the amount of fabric you required for your pleats totally depends on what you want at the end of the day so if you want your pleats to be full go ahead and multiply your 
hip measurement by three or if you have sufficient fabric multiply your hip measurement by three so that you can have a very full pleat but per adventure you don't want your pleat to be full or you are working with limited fabric then you go ahead and multiply your hip measurements by 2.5 so you are basically multiplying your hip measurement by 2.5 or by three inches so for me now my hip measurement is 55 i'm going to go ahead and multiply my hip measurements by three so we have 55 multiplied by three we have 165 inches so 165 inches this means that for the amount of fabric required for the weight we are going to make it of 165 inches this is for the lower part of our dress where we are going to have the slits we are going to have 165 inches while for the length we are going to have 46 inches for the length please visit us on facebook city designs and on instagram CG designs and don't forget to visit our website. We have amazing fashion illustration on our website All the details are going to be in the description box below trainings are available both online training and physical training Please check us out in the description box below and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up Like share and subscribe if you have any question in the course of this tutorial Please feel free to drop your questions in the comment section or any topic you want us to make a video on. so now let's move to the cutting part of this tutorial and this is what we have so the first thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and mark our basic measurements so our shoulder to bust we have 10 inches shoulder to bust 10 inches shoulder to arm o nine and a half inches shoulder to under bust 14 inches and shoulder to our waist we have 18 and a half inches so i have a detailed video where i explain distance calculation how to know the distance between your bust to waist waist to hip and i'm going to go ahead and put that video in the description box below you can go ahead and watch the video so the next thing i'm going to do now is to go ahead and connect my lines together so i head now to connect the lines and this is what we have so the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and just label our measurements so we'll go ahead now and take our dart measurement so our dart measurement is 4.5 we'll mark four and a half inches we'll come to the waistline where we have our dart measurement and then we'll also mark four and a half once you are done you go ahead with your pattern master and connect the lines together and pattern masters are available at our store i'm going to put down the details in the description box now on the waistline go ahead and mark half inch on both sides so the reason why you are marking half inch on both sides is basically because of your dart so once you are done this is what you have go ahead and extend your dart line to your shoulder and the reason why you are doing this is because you are going to have your bustier effect so once you are done on your under bust now on your under bust line go ahead and mark half inch on both sides on the under bust On the under bust, mark half inch on both sides and then you connect the lines together, connect it to your bust line this way. Make use of this curved part and connect your under bust to your waist. So you turn your pattern master. Pattern master is actually very important. So this is what we are going to have. Now the next thing you are going to do now is on your shoulder line, go ahead and mark five inch on your shoulder line. So I'll mark five inches on my shoulder line and then I'll connect it to my bust line this way. Connect it to my bust line this way and this is what we have. So the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and mark our shoulder measurements. But before you do that, go ahead and close your shoulder dart. So make sure you close your shoulder dart before taking your shoulder measurement. So our shoulder measurement now is nine inches. We go ahead and mark nine inches. This is what we have for our shoulder dart. Now we we'll go ahead and mark our bust measurement. Our bust measurement, our bust measurement is 14.5. We we'll mark our bust measurement 14.5. We we'll also mark 
our waist measurement which is 13.5 so once you are done now you go ahead and connect your bust line to your waistline and then you make use of your arm or curve which comes in a pattern set and you connect your shoulder line to your bust line so you are basically just placing your arm or curve this way and then you connect it together now what we want to achieve is off shoulder what we want to achieve is off shoulder so for you to achieve your off shoulder you are going to determine how many inches off you want to take and note that the number of inches you take off totally depends on how deep you want it to be and that is optional so i'll go ahead now and i'll take away about six inches i'll take away about six inches for my off shoulder I will go ahead now and connect the line off shoulder this way. Now I want it to have like a sweet art neckline. Okay, so I'm just going to blend this part to give me like a V shape. So that is what we have for our sweet art neckline. You just make this part to look like your V shape. So this is what we have now for our sweet art neckline now what you are going to do now is this automatically becomes your shoulder because you've taken away about six inches you can take away five four three two it depends on how deep you want it to be and you can come down with seven inches eight it just depends on you now we've marked six inches and then we've gotten our neckline automatically this becomes our shoulder measurement and not this part so in that case now go ahead and still close your shoulder that and then you mark your your shoulder measurement so our shoulder measurement is nine inches our shoulder measurement is nine inches so this is where we have our shoulder measurements now on this line which is our off shoulder line this is where we have our shoulder measurement so basically connect this line now to your bust line if you have any questions please feel so you go ahead now and connect it together so you go ahead now and connect it so once you've done that this is what you have you can see our shoulder line we've connected to the bust line so this simply means that for your off shoulder this is the arm hole you should have for your off shoulder a slant arm hole if what you are dealing with is off shoulder but if what you have is a regular arm hole this is what you are going to have for your regular arm hole so i made use of the basic um bustier blouse to explain this so that you guys will understand it better so this is what it looks like so i'm just basically going to go ahead now and cut this out this is what you are going to have for your basic block this is what you are going to have now another thing you are going to do now is to go ahead and open up this part because this is your bustier area so you go ahead now and open this up this way so you are just basically going to cut out your dart so that's what we are doing basically just cutting out your dart so by the time you cut this out, this is what you are going to have. This is your center front and this is your side. So by the time you join this together, you can see what it looks like. So let's go ahead now and draft our back block. First thing you are going to do now for your back block is to go ahead and mark your zip allowance. So for me, I'm making use of about two inches for my zip allowance. Once I'm done, I'll go ahead now and connect the lines together. I'll connect the lines together so after that the next thing we are going to do now is to mark your dart so our dart is four and a half note that I started marking our dart after the zip allowance on your waistline also you mark four and a half inches once you are done you connect your dart line together on your waistline go ahead and mark half inch on both sides on your waistline mark half inch on both sides and then you connect it together now for the back block also because it's also off shoulder we are also going to deduct about six inches just like the way we did for the front block so i've gone ahead now to mark my six inches which will become our new shoulder so i'll connect it together on this shoulder line now this is where we are going to mark our ample this is where we are going to mark our shoulder measurements rather on this line which is six inches this is where we are going to mark our shoulder measurements and make sure your measurements start after your zip so we also have nine inches 
now this is what it looks like on your bust line now go ahead and mark your bust measurements which is 14.5 our waist measurement is 13.5 if you have any question please drop it in the comment section or any video you want us to make so we'll go ahead now and connect this together you can see what it looks like once you are done you connect what you have for your shoulder to your arm oil line so you're also going to have like a slant shape because what you have is off shoulder so this is what the back block look like it's actually very easy but for the neckline of my back block i am leaving it straight because <laughs> i'm sure you don't want to have like a sweet tart neckline on the back that is actually very weird for you to have like a sweet tart neckline on your back so i'm leaving it straight this way this is what i want to have for my back block so i'll go ahead now and cut this out so this is basically what we have for our back block so next so guys now we want to cut out the upper part i've gone ahead now to fold my fabric into two once you are done with that you can see this part that is our center line make sure this center line your center fold which is like the middle part of your fabric is on this folded edge this way and also we'll go ahead and place this other part this way so this is what we want to achieve so i'll just go ahead now and cut this out after cutting it out i'll show you guys what it looks so guys after cutting this out this is what we have so by the time you open this up you are going to have your center front this way you can see the sweet tart effect and then you are going to have your sides this way and this is what it looks like so we'll go ahead now and set this aside back block also we've gone ahead now to fold our fabric into two after folding your fabric into two you basically go ahead and place your pattern paper on it so once you place it on it this way, I'll go ahead and cut this out. Guys, after cutting it, this is what you have. You are going to have two pieces for the back block. So we'll go ahead now and set this aside. So guys, now we want to cut out the sleeve of shoulder sleeve. So we'll go ahead now and fold our fabric into four. After folding it into four, this is what I have. So for my sleeve length, it's actually like a very small sleeve, which I'm going to make use of about 8 inches. For my sleeve length, I have 8 inches because it's a small sleeve. Now, the inches you took off, okay, let me just go ahead and cut off just the parts that we need for this. For the off shoulder sleeve this is your fabric folded into two and again you fold it into four because our sleeve should be folded into four so for my sleeve length now i have eight inches for my sleeve length now what we took off for our off shoulder is six inches for the basic block you go ahead now and mark that six inches so whatever you take off from the basic block is what you are going to mark at this point whatever you take off is what you are going to mark at this point so if you took off four inches it means you are marking four inches if you took off five inches for your basic block for the off shoulder that is what you are going to mark here so i took off six inches so this is what i have my six inches now our arm o is what 10 inches but you took off six inches so the six inches we took off you go ahead and place it this way out of the fabric okay you place your six inches out of the fabric and then you mark your arm o my arm o is 10 inches but i took off six inches which is out so if you took off five inches this is what you are going to have five inches and then you mark whatever you use for your arm o and if you took off four inches you place your four inches this way and you mark whatever you use for your arm o so at this point now i'm going to measure my round sleeve measurements which is about 10 inches for my round sleeve so you connect your round sleeve to your arm o line this way and then you connect it a slant shape also just like what you have for your arm o blouse let me come again so that you guys can understand it so fold your fabric into four 
fold your fabric into four this way once you are done folding your fabric into four we took off six inches i'll go ahead and mark the six inches at this point now the six inches i took off i'll place it out of the fabric and mark my arm off, which is 10 inches once i'm done on the lower part now i'll go ahead and mark my round sleeve i'll go ahead and mark my round sleeve which is 10 inches i'll connect my round sleeve to this shoulder line and to this arm arm o line and what you have now you connect it to this six inches so it's actually very easy so i'll just go ahead now and cut it out but if you have any question feel free to drop your questions in the comment section so once you cut it off this is what you are going to have this is what you are going to have so you can see what it looks like you can see our arm up part and this part is going to stay on the shoulder so let's go ahead now and cut out our lining for the fabrics guys this is what we have for the front block so i've gone ahead now to iron my paper state to it and this is basically just to give it like more structure so here now i have my wording which this is the medium form of wording and this wording you have like the shining part and then the smooth part go ahead and iron your shining part to your fabric the shiny parts to the fabric so basically for me i just part from your bust to somewhere around your under bust i'm not among those people that usually part like the old dress because <laughs> I'm not sure like the essence of padding basically is to add structure to your bust right just like the way you have your bra and i assume that your bra doesn't get to your waist side right i feel i assume that your bra doesn't get to your waist side so if you are dealing with bra cup your bra cup is basically just going to be somewhere around your bust to your under bust so i really don't know why people pad the whole front maybe if you usually pad your whole front please let me know your reason why you used to pad it in the comment section because i don't get it so this is what it should look like you are basically to pad just your bust area to somewhere around your under bust so what we are going to do now is we are going to go ahead and stitch this together and also couple this together so once we are done we are going to have a single piece and i'm going to show you guys what it looks like so guys after joining it this is what we have you can see your bustier effect how it's popped up at this part and also at this part so for our lining now we've also gone ahead also to couple our lining up to give us a single piece just like the way we have for the main fabric so the next thing you are going to do now is to basically place your lining on your front block this way place the lining on the front block and then you go ahead and stitch it stitch the neckline and also the two so guys after turning it this is what you have for your front block you can see how neat it is and for your back block you have two pieces also so the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and place your back block on your front block and then you take your measurement so if your measurement is 50 inches 50 divided by 2 you have 25 so you check out what you have here I have 27 inches so it means I have two inches extra so I'm going to mark one inch on this side and I will mark one inch on this side so you come to your waist now my waist is 42 inches divided by two it means we have 21 inches so at this point now I have 24 I'll go ahead and mark one and half on both sides so this is what it looks like so i'll just basically go ahead now and stitch it up to this part and also stitch it so that i can have a single piece this way in order for me to attach my pleating to the lower side so once i'm done i'll show you guys what it looks like so guys now i've gone ahead now to cut this out so for the width now for the length what you are going to do to get your length is basically to deduct your half length from your gown length okay so if your half length is 18 inches and then your gown length is 60 inches so you just deduct 18 inches minus 
60 inches rather which is your gown length minus 18 inches which is your half length so for you to get the length of your pleats deduct your gown length from your half length so if your gown length is 60 inches and your half length is 18 half length which is the upper part we cut with our pattern paper so you deduct it away whatever you have now will be your um, pleat length and don't forget to add two inches for your folding allowance to your length so this is what i have now i'll go ahead and set this aside so guys once you are done this is what you have you have like your complete upper bodies your front block and then your back block so the next thing you are going to do now is to attach your lower part to your upper part of your fabric right and you are basically going to be pleating this with your gathers foot and gathers foot are available i have a detailed video on gathers foot and i'm going to put down the link in the description box below so you can go ahead and check it out so basically to gather it is just to like give it like a pleat and one advantage of using gathers foot is that it makes your pleats to be equal so make sure you check out that video after watching this so this is what it looks like so i'll go ahead now and gather up all this fabric into the basic upper body so once i'm done i'll show you guys what it looks like so guys we've gone ahead now to gather them up so this is what it looks like so for the back i also pleat the lining and then flip it through so that it can cover this up so the next thing we are going to do basically now is we are going to go ahead now and couple this up so you just go ahead and fix in your zipper at the back and then you stitch the place all the way down so once you fix in your zipper at this upper part so we've gone ahead now to pleat this you can see what it looks like we've gathered it on the upper bodies so the next thing we are going to do now is just to go ahead and join this together and then we'll fix our sleeve so this is what we have so i'll go ahead now and fix my zip after fixing my zip i'll show you guys what next we have to do so basically the next thing we just have to do now is to attach our sleeve to it so i'll go ahead now and fix the zip and show you guys what it looks like So guys now we've gone ahead now to couple this up this is what it looks like you can see the bustier effect now the next thing we are going to do now is to basically attach your sleeve to your dress so you basically open up your sleeve this way attach one part so you are just basically going to stitch this arm or part of your sleeve to this arm or part of your dress this way this is what we want to achieve and also for this other part also you are stitching like your arm or part to this part of the dress so by the time you are asleep so one thing you are going to do is to decide what parts you want your sleeve to be either on this part or either on your right hand side or on your left hand side it totally depends on what you want to achieve so once you've concluded on where you want your dart to be you go ahead and lay your pleats make sure they are laid properly make sure they are laid properly this way now you are going to mark your dart line you are making use of this dart line which is your bustier line to open up your slits so you are basically just you want to just extend this dark line all the way down make sure your dress is laid well so you just mark your dark line just extend what you have for your dark line now another thing also is to determine how high you want your slit to be and note that it depends on you so you can open it up as high as you want it to be so once you are done now i'll just go ahead and open up the slit and cut it out So guys this is what it looks like you can see our sweetheart neckline you can also see our off shoulder and this is what it looks like so my dress is far bigger than my mannequin so i just need to like hold it at this part to show you guys what it looks like so this is what we have so let me just show you guys what the pleating looks like at the lower side but this is basically your 
curb effects your bustier effects and your sleeve you can see how nice it is and if you have any question please feel free to drop your questions in the comment section or any video you want us to make so let me go ahead now and show you guys the lower part and what this slit looks like it looks like you can see how the gathers are equal because we made use of our gathers foot and i'm going to put down the details of the gathers foot in the description box below and then you can see our slit just showing one part and it goes straight to where your dart line is so you can go ahead and increase your slit or you can reduce it it depends on what you want so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial please give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe i'll see you guys in my next